Hey everyone, today I have a first impressions um, of this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour with comfort serum in 200 soft beige I thought I would try this out and just tell you guys what I like about it what I don't like about it see if it lasts all day just opened it up and it comes in a little pump oh I just ripped the sticker off anyway it just comes in a little pump thing and I'll just put it on my face and see how we go I'm just going to put it on with my beauty blender. Okay, I have three pumps on here. And I'm just going to look in my mirror, which is over here. It smells like fresh something. And the colour's quite light. But my cheeks are red, so I don't know. We'll see how we go. So three pumps has kind of done that much of my face. Put another couple. Well, it's blending into my skin nicely, so this is my colour. And it doesn't feel heavy at all, it just kind of feels like there's nothing really there. You can smell the serum, but only if you smell it on the sponge or when you're putting it on. But it's not too bad, it's actually covered my red cheeks, like on the first go, so that's pretty good for me. And it's covered most of my blemishes. It's still leaving a little bit of a shine. Like I've kind of, in the camera, it looks like I've got a bit of a shine happening. But in the mirror, it doesn't look like that at all. And I'm going to go and try, so it's not too bad, I like the first kind of layer, it's light, it covers everything, but I'm going to try and do a second layer and see how that goes, see if it's buildable pretty much. And this is the lasting finish by Rimmel. Again, just showing you which one it is. Um, yeah, it's actually built up to a full coverage. So I really like it. It's quite good. So I'm going to finish my face and then I'll be back in a second. So I just did a really light dusting of powder and just did really minimal makeup because I'm not doing that much today and I thought I would just test it out and see how it goes. It still doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything so that's a good thing I think. Um, it's gone pretty actually quite full coverage and it's looking pretty good. I only used a little bit of concealer under my eyes and that was it. Usually I need to put concealer all over my face but I haven't this time so that's a good thing 
and I'll come back later on and let you know how it goes. Hey, I'm back again and it's already the end of the day. The sun is already setting. I can see it setting right behind you right there. And I thought, oh, I better film this and let you know how the foundation went. Well, let me look in my mirror. The foundation went actually pretty well. Uh, my lipsticks kind of come off a little bit and because I've had a runny nose around my nose area because I've been blowing it it's kind of rubbed off a little bit um, and especially around my mouth area it's kind of rubbed off a little bit as well because I have been eating obviously during the day but let me have a closer look. It's actually pretty good. It still stayed really well. It only kind of needed just the one, one layer to give a full coverage. This was two layers. It didn't need the extra layer for the full coverage. So I'm actually really happy with this foundation. I still don't feel like I have anything on my face, but I'm really really happy with it and I'll definitely be repurchasing it another time when I run out. So please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked this video and maybe I'll do a few more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.